Rob here from Unimedia, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the image box element in Elementor, so stay tuned. At Unimedia, we help companies to grow and thrive using the latest tools, tricks, and marketing techniques. From websites to online marketing, automated sales funnels, social media, and much more. We're always releasing new content on our YouTube channel, so make sure you click the like, subscribe and notification button to make sure that you don't miss out. Just before we get going, I want to tell you about an exclusive offer we have on at the moment. We're giving away free access to our paid Hub Uno platform to the first 50 people that click the link in the description. We're going to be putting this link in the description of all of our videos, so make sure that you get in there as quick as you can. Within Hub you know, we have created over 100 training videos in 13 courses, including a course on how to build a website using Elementor. You'll also find recorded webinars and a host of other free content, so remember to click the link in the description. Let's get on with the video. Hello, in this video we are going to be talking about the image box element of Elementor. For this you're going to want some preloaded images in your media library. Before we begin then, I've got a page layout of Elementor full width. I've got one section here with one column in and I've changed the background color of the section to blue. To get back to our elements then we just need to click the grid here. To get our image box then we're going to search in our search widget image and then we can see here image box. Let's drag that into our column and here we have our image box. So in this video we're going to go through content, style, but we're not going to go through advanced because a lot of those options have their own videos. So if you want to, go and check those out. But for now, let's go to content. So the first thing we have is our image. Let's go for this one. And we'll insert media. Just to let you know that we've got our stock images here from unsplash.com, which is a license free stock image website. But of course, crediting the authors and the creators is always a nice thing to do. So the first option we have is the image size. So we could go for the thumbnail, we could go medium, 300 by 300, of course the ratios um, aren't putting it at 300 by 300. I'm just going to go with full, that way we have a nice crisp version of our image. We've got the heading, so this image box might be linking through to a product perhaps, so let's just say it's web design for now. Then we've got our text here, we can replace this with whatever we like, we could add more text, we could only have a few words if we wanted to, entirely up to you. So we can make this link if we wanted to, so we could put um, our website in there. If you're sending them away from your website, don't forget to click the cog and select open in a new window. This means when they close the window that they've just gone to, they'll be back on this website. If we now hover over our heading and our image, we can see that they have a link. Next option is the image position. So we've got left, top and right. I'm going to go with left for now. And then finally we've got the title HTML tag. So H3, um, we could go from H1 up to H6 if we wanted to. I'm going to leave it on H3. The reason why I'm leaving it on H3 is I'm going to assume this is on some kind of services page. So it might already have a H2 above it, which says something like web services or website services, something like that. This would be a subheading of that. So web design, you could then have web development as a H3 and so on. So that's it for the content part of the image box. I'm gonna stop for a moment so you can add your own image box in, add as many as you like, then you can pause the video and we'll come back and style the image box element. So let's style our image box. So top left, let's click style and we're gonna style the image here and the content. So the first option we have for styling is spacing. So this is the spacing between the text and the image. I quite liked what it was on, so I'm going to go with 15. And then we've got the width of the image. And I'm going to leave it around 35. Then we've got hover animation. So this is when we hover over our image. As you can see, we put shrink on it and it shrinks. I'm going to leave that as it is, but there are loads of options here that you can play around with, so feel free to have a look. I'm then going to put a CSS filter on here. There's a couple of options you can use. You can go through the blur, the brightness, the contrast. I'm just going to saturate this image, so it's now black and white. 
and then I'm going to show you how we can bring the color back when we hover over this image. So let's now click hover and again we've got CSS filters. If I click the pencil icon here this will now put the image at its original state when you hover over. So I'm going to hover over it will shrink and the color will come back. So we've also got the opacity so we can make it go more transparent when we hover over it as well like so. I'll just leave it as it is. Let me go back to normal. We've also got opacity in the normal settings so currently this will be set at 1 but of course we could change this um, if you really wanted to. I'm going to leave it on the default and then we've got the transition duration so I'm going to make it a little bit longer like so. Next we move on to the content. So our first option is the alignment of the text and I'm going to leave it on left align. Then we've got the vertical alignment and I will leave this on middle. Title, we've got the spacing between the title and the text. Let's leave it like that. The colour, I'm going to leave on white. And then the typography, we're going to have the title as Amatic. I'm going to make it larger. I'm going to leave the rest of the settings. And then we'll go on to the description. Again, white text, typography, Josephine Sands, and we'll make it slightly larger. Let's go 1.5 and a weight of 300. Close that window. And that is how to use the image box element. When you're happy with what you've done, don't forget to click the green update button at the bottom and we will see you in the next video.